Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw King DDD from uh, essentially Kirby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it really simply and easily for beginners. Uh, so it's gonna be step by step. Uh, I'm gonna be using this Faber-Castell marker. It's basically just basically just a black marker. So any black marker will do. Uh, also, the paper wise is gonna be um, computer paper. So yeah, that's pretty easy to get. And that's pretty much it. So let's get started on drawing King DDD. So first thing I'm gonna do is gonna draw around the mouth area. He's also in Super Smash Brothers as well, or uh, Ultimate. This is the left side of his mouth. Pull down the bottom portion of his mouth. Pull up. Other side of his mouth here. Close that off. He has a beak, so I'm gonna throw kind of a V shape for the front there. Pull up, pull up, pull down, pull down. Open mouth here. Uh, pulling a shape right there for the tongue. Closing that off. Let's go into the eyes now. The eyes are kind of like right now. So I would say it's like a grave, like a gravestone shape, essentially. Um, right next to each other. I'm gonna go in here and do another of that same exact shape, but smaller. Another of that same shape, exactly, but smaller. I'm gonna find a highlight over here, which is really just a circle. And a circle here. Also, before I continue, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, every time you subscribe, it helps the algorithm out on the channel. I'm posting videos three times every single weekday, and I'm starting to post them on the weekend now too. So we'll see if I keep that going, but for sure it's gonna be every single weekday, three videos each day. So it's about 15 videos per week. Uh, I file them into playlists so they're easy to find. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's free, it's simple to subscribe, um, and it will probably notify you Honestly, probably I'll notify you about 25% of the stuff I actually put up, uh, but you know, it's worth subscribing. Pulling up over here on the left side of the head. Pulling up over here as well. And what well, first thing is I'm gonna find this pendant he has on his head. And it's gonna be kind of round toward the bottom. Pull up over here. Pull down, it's that sort of shape. I'm not really sure what you call that. I'm gonna form a line from the side of the head there, showing that kind of tied, uh, it's not really a headband, it's like a hat, but it's, that portion of it is, is the front there. Pull down. Pull down. Find the top portion of that hat. And he's got a ball at the back of that, almost like a Christmas hat or something. So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna find the coat that he has on and I'm gonna pull that downward. And go over here, find the other side of this coat. He's wearing basically like a Santa coat, almost. Pull that down here. And I'm gonna fill out the information here on his front because he has, I'd say like a line across for a belt design. I would say almost just like two solid lines. And then he has a couple more down here. Then I'm gonna put 
on this bottom section here, I'm gonna put a V, uh, kind of V shape, so zigzag right here. And then he's gonna have, you can tell he has kind of like a robe underneath. So I'm gonna throw a line here, throw a line here, throw a line here, throw a line here. It's kind of like a robe or shirt, and you can tell he has like layers to it. So it's, kind of, it's essentially these two V shapes, essentially. We're gonna have his hand that's waving. I'm going to, uh, he's got like a mitten on, but he has a, uh, what do you call it? Around that mitten, he uh, the coat has kind of a cuff around it, which is fuzzy. So we're gonna draw the circle for that fuzziness, but then we're gonna have to draw the mitten on the inside before we close it. Alrighty. I'm gonna find the cuff of the inside of this coat over here that was on him. I'm gonna find the rest of his arm over here. It's gonna pull down. And that's gonna pull down into his coat. That coat's gonna drape over near the floor, but we're gonna have it drape downward. We're gonna have his foot sticking out the bottom of that. He's got like a big, uh, like yellow foot. Like, what is he like? I think he's like a penguin, right? Uh, and then we're gonna pull the other cuff on the on the robe. Like, this is gonna have like, a, like again, like a Santa robe kind of thing. And before that, I'm going to have the other foot sticking at the bottom here. We have that robe wrapped around the corner there. And then we're gonna have that cuff, emergency, this cuff over here, we're gonna have it on this side. So we gotta figure out how to formulate that. I'm gonna start with the circle, but I'm not gonna complete the circle because we want his arm in it. But then we also know that there's gonna be a cuff over here, but then his mitten is gonna grab a hammer, which she has in uh, Super Smash Brothers, uh, you know, ultimate. Uh, so we're gonna have his mitten here. So that's gonna be a little bit uh, dicey there, be careful. So. If, as long as you remember to think about what's going on, it should be fine. So right there, he has a cuff. Now his mitten is gonna be grabbing on. So like that's gonna be the thumb of the mitten. And then I'm gonna draw the stick for the hammer. Before I do that, I'm gonna put in the top part of the mitten. And I'm just gonna act like he's grabbing a stick. So I got this, it's gonna continue on through. Continue on through over here as well. We're gonna draw a circle lips so you can see the bottom of that tube shape. We're gonna pull up. And so now it looks like he's just grabbing a stick, which is good. That's kind of the beginning of it. And the hammer's gonna be slumped over his shoulder. He's got this big Donkey Kong looking hammer almost. And so that's gonna be pretty big. So I'm gonna draw this shape over here, which is the back side of the hammer. Let's see, it's gonna be facing upward over here. So I'm gonna put a, uh, so like the flat part, the part where he smashes with the hammer, it's gonna be up here. And I'm gonna create an ellipse shape up there. And then I'm gonna draw over that because it's gonna have uh, something, uh, you know, kind of uh, against that. So right here, around the edge of that hammer, he's gonna, he's gonna have a metal, metal portion. And we are going to draw a line downward, and most of that hammer is gonna be hidden behind him. But how do you know that's a hammer? We're gonna draw these thin lines. Let me put one in. Like so, and I'm gonna try to draw them thinner the reason I'm drawing them thinner is because I don't want them to kind of overtake the design. 
And uh, he does have a star over here, but I'm just gonna try to put some triangles here. I'm not gonna put the full star because that is so slanted that it will barely read. So I'm just putting in some triangles there that there's gonna be a star here. And you can also put the dot, there's dots over here on his hammer that it was made with. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if you need to rewind that and go over it, please do so, or uh, you know, go back and forth. This one's a little bit longer. I'm gonna throw a little bit of a thick line around this to kind of merge everything together. So like I said, he's, he's basically a, a chunky penguin with a Santa uh, robe wearing mittens, not gloves. Gloves, you can see the individual fingers. This one, you can just see the thumb area. And uh, the thumb area and then just the finger area. So these are mittens carrying a hammer with a winter hat on. And that's King DDD from Kirby. I'm gonna put a little bit more over here too. Oh, let me fill in his eyes as well, actually. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna fill in his eyes totally. There you go. That is King DDDDD, uh, DDDDDD. Draw a little bit of a line here too for the bottom. Thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did like that, please do me a huge favor and share the video. Uh, if not, just please, you know, like it or talk, or you can always say hi to me in the comments and I will talk to you next time. I'll see you soon and let's make this another easy pictures to draw.